Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Nate and today we're going to be taking a peek at an old favorite of mine, Shogo Mobile Armored Division. This game <laughs> is old, but you know what? It is fantastic. So it's a first person shooter in which you play as a soldier. Uh, you're actually a commander I think in the mobile armored division of this military and you're fighting rebels and terrorists and, you know this was even before the big terrorist hype so they had terrorists then too so what we're looking at right here is a main menu uh, just so you know you can get this game on good old games for $5.99 uh, DRM free it downloads you play it you might have to do a little bit of tinkering because it is pretty ancient but it's a great game. So, this is the main menu here. Uh, you can look at the credits, you can quit the game of course. Options, single player and multiplayer. I have no idea if there's a multiplayer community for this. No idea. But uh, the single player will tide you over. Let's take a look at the options. Alright, so display options. Yeah, so let's just look at the resolution options. So you have all these. Yay, okay, those all look normal. Look normal. What? 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 Yeah, so display options, not fantastic. Oh, it stayed the same. Fantastic. Okay, uh, gore settings on or off, screen flash on or off. I have my settings on high, and they have advanced settings. I don't even want to touch these, but they have things like bullet holes, lots. The other options are some and a few. Mine are on lots. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me. So you have all sorts of options in here. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, so that's all for display options. Then you have sound options. Not as many. Interactive music. I don't, I'm not sure. We're going to go ahead and turn this down a little bit. Uh, just for, you know, the, the sake of the video here. I'll turn it back up later after you guys are gone. Keyboard options. Alright, so... Let's take a look at this. Forward and back, I have set to W and S. Originally, they're the, uh, they're the arrow keys. And you can still turn left and right using the arrow keys. Uh, side step is left alt. I don't know what that does yet. But step left and step right, I have mapped to A and D. I don't remember what they were previously, but they weren't very useful. Actually, I think they're unmapped to begin with. You can turn around, do a 180 with backspace, you can run with left shift. I had to... So, okay, there's keyboard settings and then there are mouse settings. So on the keyboard to shoot, I have set to the enter button on my number pad because I clicked on it hoping I could just click the mouse button. It doesn't work like that. It's a whole separate setup. Then you have all your things. It's weird that double jump is Z when regular jump is space. You only get one or the other. Like, you don't have to hit space and then Z, you just hit Z. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, you have all sorts of things in there. Mouse controls. I have the sensitivity way down, and you'll notice that it is still insane. Um, now, on my Razer settings, it's at 1700, which is still pretty low. Um, I'm not good at first-person shooters on PC. I honestly prefer a controller, but I'm going to get hate for that, so yeah. Alright, so in order to change the mouse buttons, you can't like hit enter and then click you know click what you want you have to actually push left and right so I can change this to a preset number of things although that preset number of things is everything you saw in the keyboard settings yes you can mouse your you, you can map your mouse to anything which actually is pretty sweet to be honest like if I wanted an alternate layout and just use a mouse for certain things that's pretty sweet the issue is it only sees left bump Less left button, wow, right button, or middle button. There's no scroll wheel, there's no buttons four, five, six, or seven. Yeah, so that can be an issue, especially for those of you that have the gaming mice that have 37 buttons on them and you want to be able to do all of them. Um, I have no idea what vehicle mode was, it was just one that I put on there. There's no aiming, as far as I can tell. Um, so, I put it on there because it does nothing, but might be useful later. So, yeah. 
Um, yeah, so that's your options there. It also has joystick controls. It's upset because I don't have a joystick. I bet, though, if I plugged in my controller, it might accept it. I don't know. I'll have to test that someday. Alright, so let's just jump into the single player. I have already saved a game. Uh, I just started. I've been through the first mission, and now I am starting the second one. I woke up in bed. Whoever it was that just slept with me, who's like your love interest, so it's not you're not just sleeping around, don't worry. Um, told me where my ID was, I grabbed it, and I've been walking around listening to people talk. That's, that's where I'm at. So that was cool, the little gun flip. Okay, this is still really fast, and I really hope you guys can't see the mouse cursor in the middle of the screen. Um, that was not there before. I'm hoping it has something to do with... Uh, yeah, let's just brandish our guns in front of people at a bar. That sounds good. Uh, anyway, I'm hoping it has something to do with the... Um... Oh, that's interesting. It won't go away. Okay. Um, I'm hoping it has something to do with the fact that I'm recording right now. There is a fly flying around. Um, okay. I guess I'll go up here. Oh, God, that was trippy. So, yeah, this game is ancient. Look, look at that textures that textures. Wow, listen to my words. They're awful. Welcome to Regional Diagnostics, Commander. Access these computers for information. Thanks. Computer. The importance of Kato ah. derives from its reaction to high temperatures. When burned, Kato passes through several stages of recomposition before losing its volatility. Each of these stages produces an impressive amount of energy, but it's what happens at the subatomic level that proves the most beneficial. In the course of its chemical breakdown, Kato emits a tachyon field that can be harnessed to allow an object, Sakonis, a semi-hostile terrestrial class case the military rise of the fallen on Cronus, is attributed to the first army oh, economy, bad. Cavernous, was founded on the that after bug. the show okay, I don't Okay, I don't care. Earth. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's kind of neat. What's over here? Are you a thing? No? You just walk up to things and they activate. There's no activate button. I think. Nope. Not that I can find. So, yeah, it's kind of hit or miss. You gotta guess. Hope that you're right. And, yeah, you just kind of have to go from there. I'm so lost. I really hey, want to shoot. Watch where you're going. You watch where you're going, jerk. I really want to shoot someone and see what happens. Authorized personnel only. I'm authorized, aren't I? Must be. I think this is the wrong sector. You saying I don't know where I'm going? I yes. didn't say that. Well, that's what that door does. Why didn't you let me in that door in the first place? God, where am I? You're on a military base, you don't know where you're at? Orange Line Shuttle. Nope, something's happening. Mouse is still there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there is actually a storyline. Unfortunately, most of it is given to you through text. Uh, there's no voice acting here. There is voice acting in the game, obviously. Uh, the enemies are called the Fallen. Yeah, hi. Uh, pistol. I already had the pistol, so that's not helpful. Alright. Bullets can go through, why can't I? Alright, there's single jump. Here's double jump. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, maybe I have to press a button. Button? Yep, I just had to press the button. Hi, See, Sanjuro. like that like that just activated. I think we better play it safe and reroute climate control through sector 68. We're probably gonna take a few hours to fix. Yeah, I wanna grab something to eat before we start. I haven't had breakfast. Uh so there's a thing. That's cool. I'm sure some of this looks ridiculous because I have it set to a resolution it was never designed to go to. Nope, that's a door. Open? Open. No? Okay. Alright. Reporting for duty, sir. There Good, we go. you're here. I'll get to the point. 
Your mission is to Thanks. find and eliminate Gabriel at all costs. His right. forces have been massing in the abandoned city of Avernus. Within a few days, we feel they will attempt a final assault on Maratropa. If Gabriel is allowed to continue, the Fallen will destroy the CMC and gain control of Kronos. If this happens, the flow of Cato throughout our system Kronos will cease. Is the planet. This cannot and will not happen. I'll see to that myself if I have to. Yes, sir. I understand completely. You may select an MCA for this mission. Consult the terminal in each bay for specifications on the various units. Good luck, Commander. Sir, I presume Catherine is my primary contact for this mission? You mean Lieutenant Commander Akaraju? Yes, she is. That's what I meant to say, sir. You're dismissed. I'll see to that myself if I have to. Do you have something you wish to share with me, Commander? Yes, sir. You are my personal hero, sir. Hmm. By the way, Commander, what a I'm dick pleased bag. to note that you checked into regional diagnostics. It's about time you showed a little initiative. Yeah, we walked in there and immediately left. We were just lost. Okay, so now they want me to go back the way I came. Find some Keep cool ships. Pants, pal. Don't tell me what to do. It, buddy. Do you continue to say mean things? No. Alright, so as you can see, the models are not fantastic. <laughs> this game is awesome, though. I, I will keep saying that until the day I die. Uh, I just want to check out... Do I look at you? No? Uh, Alright, so while it's awesome... It is a little Each crazy. terminal moves a specific MCA into docking position. You can board that MCA by circling around at the corresponding access door. That's annoying. The Shoko of Puma Series 12 is a light, fast, highly maneuverable MCA designed for situations in which subtlety and speed are more important than durability. An excellent choice for pilots who prefer to run from trouble than dive headlong into it. Nope, not for me. The Uncan War Dog Advanced Series 7 MCA features a sleek design and solid compromise between speed and toughness. While its vehicle mode has a faster maximum speed than the UCA Enforcer, it doesn't handle quite as well. Nope. Where's the one with... There's gotta be one with big cannons or something. On this ultimate MCA, the Andra 25 Predator, is oh, yeah. perfectly suited to combat missions. Combining tough armor with an intimidating design, the Predator is an uncomparable war machine. Unfortunately, strength comes at the cost of speed and versatility. Alright, we'll probably get that one, but let's check out the last one. MCA Enforcer Mark 7 is a hardy, well-rounded MCA that balances responsive movement with strong armor. It's ideal hundred. for pilots who want a machine that is reliable in any situation. Uh, we might go with that. Ooh, snacks! Yum. No. What the hell is my password? Nah! <laughs> That's funny. Um... I think we're gonna go with uh, Big Badass over here. That was weird. I hope you succeed, Commander. I would hate to have to resort to more drastic measures to eliminate the Fallen. Akarajou out. Yeah, why aren't we just Watch nuking them from orbit? Shot. I'm in a mech. Don't tell me what to do. I'll step on you. Transport will drop you off near the southwest entrance to Avernus. According to our intelligence, it's the least defended access to the city. Cool. According to intelligence, eh? Well, in that case, wow. I've got nothing to worry about. Be careful, Sanjuro. You better come home to me. You oh, won't even have time board. to miss me. Permission to come aboard. Permission granted, Commander. You're in for one hell of a ride. That sounds bad. Alrighty. Uh... Yeah, so we're blowing things up. Got it. LZ Minotaur attained. Good. Now there's a fortified condenser station between you and the southwest entrance. You have to pass through it to get to Avernus. Make sure you take out any surveillance measures. Don't give them the opportunity to call in reinforcements. Looks like we got enemy contact. Alright, so as you can see, it's kind of a twitch shooter. Um, and not quite. Uh, there aren't, there's no reloading. You get two scrubs to come with you. Uh, oh god. Oh, and 
there is reloading, you just don't do it manually. Okay. What did I pick up? Oh, just a pulse rifle. Alright, so in the bottom left hand corner here. Oh, that's that was a big boom. In the bottom left hand corner here, you have energy and armor. Now, I've just got my armor all the way, or my energy all the way back up. Armor not so great. This looks like the place. But, uh, I don't think we're down too far. So, yeah, this game, as you can see, first person shooter, it moves well, things are fun, that's a big droid. Um, laser cannon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll cover you while you lower the bridges, Commander. Right. Uh. Oh jeez. Yes. So, looking at this game, it's an old game. It is. But you know what? I have never played this game and been. Oh. Jump for nothing. And been upset. Been bored. Um. Now it is an older game. So, there's not always a whole lot of direction. Uh, as you can see, there's absolutely no minimap. I have no idea what happened to him. Ouch. Okay, so that hurt our armor quite a bit. Love, love to have whatever gun that was. Oh, he just gave me whatever gun that was. Who the hell do you think you are busting in here? I'm gonna kick your ass, scumbag! Right. Anger. Now, unfortunately, we only have 14 shots left with this. So, you know, that, that could be a problem. What is this? Ultra Power Surge. Alright. Oh, okay, okay. Alrighty, I see. Uh, apparently I have an infinite supply of air as well. That's always nice. Breathing is good. Uh, double jump. Oh god, that's really hot. Alright. Cool. We're gonna move on. Uh, anyway, no mini-map can make this game very difficult. I definitely played... Oh, I should have used that. Dang it. Ah, uh, armor repair. That's fantastic. I've definitely played this game and been lost more than once. So, be prepared to feel stupid. Oh, it's you guys. Yeah, you can't really see the little guys. They do blow up exceedingly well, though, so... You know, there is that. The explosions of the little little guys that you're killing. Always entertaining. Thanks for a fun time. Oh, excuse me. So, yes. That is... I mean, that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. You, you have AI that is awful, because this game is, you know, probably as old as I am. Um, you have some quite awesome ooh, what is this? armor repair. Awesome. You have some quite awesome textures. Some pretty awful <laughs> AI. And, I mean, it's it's a fun game. There's lots of guns. You get your choice of mechs, which is great. We're back out here. I don't know if that's mine or theirs. I'll just see. Not mine. Got it. Oh, you're too close. There. Problem solved. Oh, AI caught up. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Glow stick of doom. And back to this gun. 
I'm showing falling reinforcements just south of your position, near the main service tunnel. Great, and they'll know we killed them. I get them all. Oh. Uh, I kind of took that one to the face. All right. So, um, sorry that this one was a little more boring. I actually have to pay attention to what I'm doing because I'm not very good at these. Uh, yeah. So, all in all, this game is pretty sweet. Um, however, be aware that in order to save, you have to go. You have to hit escape, go to the back to single player, and then hit save game. Yeah, it's it's a little excessive, but that's okay. <laughs> that's funny. The last mission was called Calm Before the Storm, and this one is called The Storm. So, good on you guys. That's that's funny, even years and years later. <clears throat> so, this has been Shogo Mobile Armor Division. It's a very old game. It's a very good game. The uh, storyline is fun. The antagonist is kind of a douchebag. Or protagonist. I don't know. I always mix this up. But it's it's a good, fun first-person shooter game. You get to drive. You're, you get to pilot mechs around. Uh, oh yeah, I should see vehicle mode. I don't know what I am, but I am a vehicle. I'm definitely not a spaceship. I'm probably some kind of tank. I'm not a tank. I don't have a gun. Alright. So, that's cool. <clears throat> that's cool. I'm good with that. Alright. So, I hope you've enjoyed this peek at Shogo Mob Mobile Armor Division. You can get this game on Good Old Games for $5.99. I'm sure you might be able to get it cheaper somewhere else, but Good Old Games is DRM free. And it downloads pretty quick, and it installs, and then it's yours. They do keep a an account for you so that you can download it to multiple PCs. But um, yeah, it's, once you buy the game, it's yours. So that's always nice. Um, once again, Shogo Mobile Armor Division. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, take care. <laughs>